Now, in a major embarrassment to China on the world stage, Australia and Maldives have clarified that they did not attend the China-led Indian Ocean Region Forum meet. The meeting was organized by China International Development Cooperation Agency. And in the joint statement released, the government agency claimed that 19 people participated in the event. It took place in the Yunnan province of the 21st, on the 21st of November. And now Maldives' foreign ministry clarified its position. Malay said there was no official representation from the country, adding that they relayed the no participation message to the Chinese embassy on the 15th of November. Adding that they relayed the no participation message to the Chinese embassy. Meanwhile, Maldives' former president, Mohammed Wahid Hassan, ha was present at the forum meet. But Malay explained that it could not be considered as an official representation by the country. Australian High Commissioner in Delhi, Barry O'Farrell, has also spoken on the issue. Posting a tweet, he said that, contrary to media reporting, no Australian government official attended the coming the Kunming China Indian Ocean Forum on Development Cooperation. Similar to Maldives, former Australian Prime Minister Kevin Root was present at the meet, with Canberra stating that his participation cannot be considered an official representation of Australia. The CIDCA was founded in 2018. It is a development and foreign aid agency led by a former Chinese ambassador to India. The agency funds projects mainly related to the Belt and Road Initiative. It earlier came under China's Commerce Ministry, but at present falls under the State Council. For more on this, our principal diplomatic correspondent Siddhant Sibbal is joining us live from New Delhi. Siddhant, can one even quantify how embarrassing this development has been for China? That also on the world stage? Well, it's embarrassing for China because the joint statement mentioned countries, 19 countries, including uh, Maldives and Australia. Now, joint statement by virtue means that there are participation of uh, the countries, which includes Australia and Maldives. And both the countries had to clarify their position shows that how embarrassing, first, of course, it was for Beijing and how awkward it was for Mali and Canberra. We know that Beijing had uh, sent invites to both the countries and both the countries had declined to participate in this very meeting. While there was uh, the presence of uh, former leadership of both Maldives and uh, Australia, as you pointed out, but both of them were present in their own personal capacity, firstly, and it looked like a track to kind of conversation, but it also... Uh, look like as if Beijing is trying to misinterpret uh, the, 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 the countries who are present in the meeting and that did not look good. What was China planning to achieve by hosting such a meeting? Well, China primarily uh, basically wanted a meeting on Indian Ocean to send a message across that it also is a stakeholder when it comes to the Indian Ocean region. We know that India, of course, is considered uh, the most important power when it comes to the Indian Ocean region. There's a grouping as well, the IORA, the Indian Ocean Rin Association uh, grouping that obviously meets uh, annually and in fact last week when this meeting happened in China there was the meeting of the IORA grouping in Dhaka at the foreign minister's level where all the countries participated. Now China is not part of this grouping and India of course has significant influence in the grouping. Uh, so largely China wanted to send a message to New Delhi that it is also a stakeholder by organizing such a meeting and meeting of course that has ended up not very uh, nicely for Beijing given how there has been uh, contradiction coming over the presence of countries. Clearly, a lot of contradiction there. Thank you so much for those updates, Siddhant.